Excuse me, that happens to be in my property. So what? Yeah. We have laws based on it. You can't take my property. Yeah, look at this. Look at the effects. Oh my god, this is depleted this is uranium and white phosphorus. It is. It is. You're right. What our bombs are doing to the children in other countries, you're absolutely right. If you're offended by this, I suggest you do some research on what's happening in other countries to drone victims. We don't want to listen to you. City Council meeting of uh, June 3rd, 2013. At 7.30, we have a quorum. Let's stand and pledge allegiance to the flag.
go. Yeah, take a look. It's the evidence of this is what happens. This is what's going to happen to our United States soldiers' children when they come home because they've been exposed to white phosphorus, especially in Fallujah. And the white phosphorus and the uranium stay, depleted uranium stay in the sands for decades. It practically never goes away. It's very similar to the effects of a nuclear devastation, like Chernobyl. And these defects by the hundreds and thousands are showing up over there. And there are more graphic examples of this. But our soldiers too, male and female, will be bearing children with effects similar to this. And if people aren't concerned about it, my reason for doing this is because I want to call public attention to what's happening. Not only that, but many of these children have been affected by the bombs going off with drone assassinations. <clears throat> well, we need to deal with this as a society. We need to face this head on. And I, this is, this stuff is horrible graphic. But not any more so if you're experiencing it, or one of your children is affected by it, or you witness someone dying. So that's my reason for. I'm all about information and getting it out. If, if people are offended, well, maybe they'll get more involved in 